Good morning, guys. It's Ray. I hope everybody had a beautiful holiday. Um, I'm going to show you some of what I got. Um, just because um, a lot of what I got is kitchen supplies. Um, things I really needed. Uh, not a lot for the craft room. Um, I didn't really ask for anything for the craft room this year because I've got so much stuff already. But... I'm just gonna dive in this way I can start putting stuff away um, I asked for some new knives um, and I wanted some of these like ceramic ones um, we do still have one Christmas left to do and I'm actually hoping for a second set of these because I want one set for here and one set for the camper um, because all of the knives I have both at home and in the camper are absolutely terrible so that was what I asked for. Um, these are some silicone utensils because same thing. A lot of my utensils recently have broken and um, these are silicone still, but they're very, very sturdy, stiff silicone. So um, I'm down to a lot of very floppy, bendy pieces. So needed those. I needed some new um, kitchen scissors because mine are, again, it's the set out of my knife block and they're trash at this point. I wanted a new pizza cutter because I actually don't have one in my drawer. I don't know what happened to mine. Um, but since I'm going to be making sourdough breads and stuff and I'm going to have like a discard, one of the things I want to be making is homemade pizzas with the, the discard so a pizza cutter would be helpful for that also for cutting dough sometimes um, yeah and something I desperately needed was potato peelers uh, I actually couldn't use this yesterday when we got home and I had to peel some cucumbers because the potato peeler I have is awful and I needed a new hand mixer. My hand mixer I've had for probably 15 years and it's one of those really, really inexpensive Hamilton Beach ones and it's just, uh, the motor on it can barely make a chocolate chip cookie dough at this point. So that, uh, and all of my new stuff is blue. So, yay. And then, um, I also got a little food processor. Um, I haven't had a food processor in uh, 15 years almost, 12 years, 13, 14 years, whatever it is. And um, it was definitely time to get one. But I didn't want anything huge. Um, I just don't have the kitchen space for it. So um, this down here you can see is a new stool for my craft room. Um, Dustin was in my craft room and he sat on my old rolly stool and realized how dangerous it is and uh, decided to upgrade me so that is perfect and a new Keurig because um, mine is starting to sound like it is going to blow up especially on making a full pot and this is one of those side by side you can brew a full pot say on the weekend or if you have company or whatever or if you're gonna like put half of it in the fridge for iced coffee um, or the single cup side so that's what I currently have and um, so that's perfect so that was that this I haven't taken out of the box yet it's very heavy um, this is one of those little mini ice makers um, just trying to see if you can see just the top of it like a countertop model we end up buying ice in big bags from like the gas station all the time because while we have ice in the door of the freezer, we don't use it because we've been over this before. We're on a well, it just doesn't work. Um, we used to use it through. Like it had ended up triple filtered and it was just 
a pain and the number of filters we'd go through in the reverse osmosis system just to be able to make ice and between those filters and the refrigerator filters and all of that was not worth it. Um, so we don't use that anymore. But this is just a pretty blue Carhartt hoodie. Um, I love this particular style of sweater from Amazon, the cardigans with the pockets. Um, they're warm enough to wear summer or winter time with jeans. And um, I also keep one at the lake all summer just as something to grab if it's a chilly morning. So I'm happy to have a second one of those. I spend my winter wearing cabin socks because my feet are always cold. So some new cabin socks because usually by the second or third season with those I'm wearing out the bottoms. So happy with those. This is just a long sleeve Carhartt t-shirt. Um, this is something I've wanted for a while and I kind of want this for both the craft room and the kitchen. Um, it's an infrared thermometer. This you point at your hot whatever surface and it'll tell you what the temperature is. Um, because a lot of the times your ovens and your heat presses and stuff aren't fully calibrated properly so you're either baking too high or too low or pressing something too high or too low um so this has been on my like i've wanted one for years and i always forget come christmas time or i never think to pick one up when we're at the store so this is going to be handy because i can almost guarantee my oven cooks low and that my heat presses are going to be all over the place and once you know where they're at you can adjust your temperature to get the proper temperatures so that is that a uh, new pair of slippers just basic moccasins minitonkas my favorite mocks i've been wearing them for years so um this is another carhartt hoodie this one's a women's cut. The other one was a men's cut. I wear hoodies pretty much every day of my life. Winter, spring, summer, fall. I got a bunch of coffees. These are all cappuccino ones. Um, he got me a couple glasses each of the French vanilla and white chocolate caramel, which that's a new new flavor for me. So I'm excited to try one of those in a little bit as soon as I get this Keurig swapped out. I haven't had my coffee yet because I don't want to use the old one. I want to set up the new one. This is going to be the permanent home for my sourdough starter in my fridge now. It's got some... Um, other little tools in it, a band to see where it's at. It's got a little thermometer thingy to stick to the glass, a little spatula. But this is going to be its permanent jar to live in. So I'm excited for that. It's cute. And the rest of the coffee. Let me see that. This. This is very heavy. Very heavy. This is a large Dutch oven. I don't own a Dutch oven. Um, this is a cast iron Dutch oven with a lid. This is the lid. It's like this dark blue green. I know my lighting's not great sitting down here. But sorry about that. This is the bottom. And the top is insanely heavy compared to the base. This 
this is called Lagoon so well, this is my Dutch oven this is where I'm going to be basting my um, round loaves of sourdough or other artisan breads in so I am super excited for that um, I'm assuming Lagoon was the color I could be wrong yeah very happy for that and I think I just have one more thing hiding back here my sister makes me something every year um, if you've been in my craft room with me we've kind of taken a tour around once in a while and I pointed out oh my sister made me that my sister made me this um, like if I'm facing my desk I have a big thing with my initial behind me um, she decided she was going to take up a new hobby this year and um, she has started, and she just started, she got the supplies for this for her birthday. She bought them for herself in September. But this is what she named me, a tufted little, um, I'm definitely not going to use this as a rug, obviously. I'm going to have to find some place and hang it. But didn't she do a amazing job on this? So, that is my probably overall favorite thing from Christmas. So, yeah, that is my haul. Um, I'm pretty happy. Um, definitely got a little spoiled this year. Spoiled everybody else. Uh, everybody loved everything we picked out for them, which is always great because sometimes you get a little nervous. Um, we had a beautiful holiday. And like I said, we still have one more to go, but we, um, yeah, just had a nice, um, other than the busy travel part of it, relaxed holiday. And I hope everybody else had a great holiday as well. And I will see you soon.